All right. So that is that for upcoming training and education. Now, I would love the opportunity to bring to the center of your screen, Miss Chris Case. Chris, can we get you a spotlight there? And I'm gonna stop the share so we can make you, uh, make you big for everybody. All right, great. So Chris, thank you so much for, uh, for agreeing to be our agent spotlight this morning. We are thrilled, just thrilled because last week, uh, I believe it was, was it last Friday, you capped. Uh, yeah. And that was the first time for you capping. So uh, we thought, hey, what better way to celebrate uh, an outstanding agent such as yourself than to uh, bring you to center stage here on the team meeting and give you a little interview. Okay, great. Okay. Thanks. All right, awesome. Well, let, like this, let's start. Everybody's got a great story uh, from uh, how they got into real estate. There's no uh, no two paths are the same. So what, what led you to a career in real estate and what led you to Keller Williams Greater Metropolitan specifically? Um, I had been working in um, event management uh, in hospitality for uh, many years and I knew there was some man higher management changes coming down and I just had a feeling like it was time for a change. So um, I had a friend actually convince me to take the classes two days before they started, um, you know, telling me that how good I work with people that I would probably do well in real estate. So I went to Hunter's College and at one of the career nights, I met Danielle briefly, um, but she was the one that followed up the most with me um, compared to the other uh, real estate companies that were there. And then I do have another friend that's a team leader um, at another uh, Keller Williams brokerage. Mm -hmm. And she told me no matter where I joined, just how great Keller Williams is with all the coaching and training that they provide. And do you feel like your friend uh, sold you a bill of goods or do you feel like you, uh, you got that when you came here to our brokerage? Yes, no, I'm very happy. And, you know, and of course, you know, you get the emails and uh, text messages of people asking you to come on to their team and if you'd be interested, but I'm very happy where I'm at and I wouldn't change. Yeah, you'll never be more desired in your entire life than when you are just about to finish your real estate classes because mm -hmm. there's about 900 offices in Northeast Ohio who are reaching out, it feels like. Um, so tell me, you've, uh, you've had a terrific year. Um, mm -hmm. What and, and you know, hit that at uh, the first of many major milestones that I know you'll clear with the cap, but what do you attribute your success to? What are the things that you did? What are the... the Maybe there was a training that you went to that just the light bulbs went off. What was it? Um, well, you know, because there's a lot of ups and downs that I, I wasn't really prepared for in the beginning and where you do the self-doubt. And then, you know, I got to a point that I realized that there's no room for failure, that I just, this is it. I really enjoy it of the taste I had of it. And I know there was no, you know, borrowing money or, you know, the chances of winning the lottery were un unlikely. So I just, I just knew that I just had to listen, you know, to what they were, coaches were telling me, you know, keep consistent, you know, find a niche and um, the niche that I always enjoyed making people laugh and doing, uh, being creative. So um, off the bat, I came up with having a mascot that looks like a house. Um, so that's gone over really, really well. And it's in all my marketing. And every time I sell a house, the, the mascot does a dance and I add music to it. And um, I have a lot of people approach me about that. Like once, when, when I see them out, out on the street. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it is wonderful. It's a ton of fun. Guys, if you don't know what she's talking about, go friend Chris on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> and then any, you'll know anytime she sells a house because you'll see the happy house on your feed, which yeah. is a ton of fun. Um, so yeah, so for those of you who are in coaching programs or those of you who maybe have just graduated from one of our productivity coaching programs, I want to reiterate what Chris had to say, which was that unfortunately, uh, your coaches are right and you got to put in the work and, uh, you know, find your groove, be consistent, uh, and then, you know, success will follow. Um, as you continue in your real estate career, you're becoming more established, you're building more confidence. What are you most excited about for the future of your business? What do you look forward to the most? Um, just finally feeling like that I'm successful in this new career. Um, again, with the self-doubt, you know, I really 
really over the last like eight months or so, I've really changed my uh, mindset as far as just always staying positive, even when I'm frustrated or I don't know how something's going to happen. I just tell myself it's, it's going to work out. You just keep following the process. So, you know, I do try to stay consistent with my, you know, my advertising and following up with people. And I'm just, I'm excited to see, I'm starting to see that the, the income, you know, that I, that I had hoped for Mm -hmm. and the referrals are coming in. And I'm just, you know, I'll be happy to have a point where, you know, I'm looking to buy a house in the spring, a new house in the spring. Um, So that's really what my drive is right now. And just feeling a little bit more laid back to feel like I'm accomplishing, you know, my goals. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's definitely a transition point in every agent's career where they feel more like a real estate agent than in your case, maybe like an event planner, right? Like, you Mm -hmm. know, you can do it. Your clients know you can do it. And gosh, how, how good is a referral? Is it right. Oh, yeah. Referral? It's been great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, all right. Excellent. Well, listen, uh, as we uh, as we land the plane on celebrating you today, um, you know, what advice would you give to a newer agent that might be where you were 10 or, you know, 10 or 12 or 15 months ago? Um, I would just say, you know, talk to everybody that you meet, um, you know, build that relationship, follow up with people. And I, and I think um, I really try to come from a point of, of being very genuine. Uh, I think people know that I care about them and it's more about them than like what commission I'm gonna make off, make off of this sale. And then I, I've noticed the more I don't focus on the money, but focus on the relationship that things have really been paying off um, for me in that way. That's huge. That's huge. Mm-hmm. Whether, whether they know it in their, uh, in their conscious or subconscious, people can always feel when you're trying to squeeze squeeze for the commission, right? So right. come from contribution, trust the process, make the calls, have the conversations mm-hmm. and success will flow. Well, Chris, listen, yeah. it, you are just getting started. We are thrilled to be in business with you and appreciate uh, appreciate you joining us here this morning and sharing out. Um, oh, I would you appreciate be, too. Oh, God. Yeah. I was going to say, would you be willing to drop your, uh, your name and uh, contact information into the chat for anybody who maybe hasn't had the pleasure of meeting you yet that sure. might want to reach out and ask for, ask for help or advice or encouragement? I know that you're good for all three. You've given me mm-hmm. all three at one time or another. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Right. Well, thank you again, Chris. Love having you here. Uh, and we'll look forward to uh, seeing what you accomplish next. Great. I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely.